This is TVC News at 10, reaching you live from our... We're staying in Nigeria's north central state of Plateau, where hours ago the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, Bola Tinubu, said his administration would provide jobs for the youths, revamp the economy, and secure the country. The former Lagos state governor made the call in just at the flag off of the APC presidential campaign. Funam Joshua reports. The flag off of the APC presidential campaign in just the capital of Plato State. Thousands of supporters of the APC presidential candidate, Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu, have traveled from across the 17 council areas in the state. The arrival of the party's flag bearer into the Rampong Township Stadium is also part of what many of his supporters wanted to see. The presence of governors elected on the platform of the APC and presidential aspirants in the party also added color to the first major campaign rally of the ruling party. Congratulations, APC, and congratulations, President Buhari, for being able to produce your successor. It is all about the younger generation, it is all about the youths, it is all about generations yet unborn. We want to reassure our women and our youth that we are going to be there for you, we are going to support you, and we want you not to be afraid. The APC is asking for the votes of Nigerians, and in return, the Tinubu Shetima presidency promised to improve the general well-being of citizens and fast-track national growth and development. Get your PVC ready. Be confident. Be determined. Be resilient. No, you have two brothers, Shechima and Ahmed Bolatinobu, to do the job. He is a man our country needs now. Asiwaju is a man of the people, all of the people, and in all parts of the country. We assure you that we are going to have more than two-thirds of the senators of Nigeria. Watch. President Mahmoud Buhari's presence was a confirmation of his commitment to campaign for the election of his party flag bearer, Bola Tinubu, as president. The president is also confident that Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu will win the election and ensure good governance in running his administration. Funom Joshua, TVC News, Joss. And the Social Democratic Party is assuring the people of Kwara North of better developmental projects if elected into office. This is coming at a time the party says the level of infrastructural decay in the senatorial district is becoming worse. Ibrahim Alege reports. Kwara North senatorial district suffers from infrastructural deficits and underdevelopment. <laughs> This is worsened by natural disasters, especially flooding in the Patsigi axis of the district. These issues again came to the fore at a campaign organized by the Social Democratic Party in Patsigi. I'm sure we all came together all the way from uh, Eloran today. Their first major problem is roads. Once the roads are fixed, we are predominantly farmers. Once the roads are fixed, everything will fall in place. If there is any word we can use, the challenges face, facing Kwara North is more than challenges. If there is any word that we can use, we will use it. But as you know, from mere traveling from wherever you route you took down to this place, you will know that, yes, Kwara North has been abandoned by the previous government. The Social Democratic Party is now planning to change the narrative. The party's senatorial candidate for Kwara North, Abdul Kadri Atahi Romanko says the party is ready to tackle the problems of the zone if voted into power. They have two three things they usually ask for. Fix the roads, provide us with portable water, and lastly, provide us with loans. We shall be victorious come 2023. Tackling the problems of Kwara North is a huge challenge for any government. But you see, 
Kwara North is sitting on enormous potential, enormous wealth for Kwara. For any serious government, right? If you focus on agriculture, right? Mining, it will elevate a lot of the problems that we have in Kwara State. Kwara North has five local government areas. They are Moro, Edu, Patigi, Barutin, and Kayama. Ibrahim Alige, TVC News, Patigi, Kwara State.